A while ago, I made a video about how HPE, Esmeral and Nvidia can help you succeed with your AI project. Let's take that a notch more concrete and discuss how HPE and Nvidia AI technologies help the real customer become GDPR compliant and cloud native, while also made new data scientist onboarding a breeze. Stay with me. Hi there, I am Markus Leinonen and this is where we discuss everything about enterprise IT from bare metal to cloud native. If you are into that sort of stuff, consider subscribing. Thank you. Before we begin, I want to thank HPE and Nvidia for sponsoring this video and giving me an opportunity to share this interesting customer case with you. Let's dive in. So here's the situation where company X, a well-known international bank, was. In the beginning, they only had two data scientists and they both had their own Hadoop environments with access to their own independent data lakes. The environments were physically running on converged nodes, HP Proliant servers in their own on-prem data centers. I mean, the Hadoop instances were running on and data was stored in those same Proliant servers. This is fine, as long as you have just a handful of data scientists, you can pretty much maintain any kind of construct manually when the environment is small enough. But when the size of the organization grows, this, like everything else that's manual and non-optimal, becomes a headache. And this is exactly what happened to our company X here. Due to heavy analytics and AI demand, they quickly grew to dozens of data scientists. Creating individual sandboxes and data lakes for everyone really wasn't an option due to capacity limits and time constraints. So it was clear that an infrastructure revamp was needed. At the same time, this was the time when GDPR requirements were kicking in in Europe and our company X also needed to become GDPR compliant. This turned out to be a Herculean job because right in the beginning they found out that they were using dozens of copies of data all the time. One analyst actually was using the 72nd copy of the data. So somewhere in the middle of data replication, protection, testing and archival, data got copied over and over and over again, ending up to be copied over 72 times. It's clear that this is an impossible situation from GDPR point of view to manage. So something is definitely needed to be done. The third challenge was that data was not nicely sitting in one location anymore. It was scattered around different data centers at the edge and more and more it was being stored in the clouds too. Not only that, but there was all kinds of mixed data around. Database data, streaming data, files, object data, you name it, they had it. And this is a very common problem with companies that is preventing many companies from taking steps towards AI or anything more sophisticated. And finally, as mentioned, some workloads were being moved to public cloud and so they needed to harmonize management and data mobility with all their workloads from edge to core to cloud. Becoming a cloud native company end to end was their fourth big challenge. Company X decided to start with solving the data problem first. Quite quickly they realized that there's no point even trying to modernize the whole storage infrastructure. There was just too much data all over the place, in production used 24-7. Besides, most of the infrastructure was working well. So what they decided to do instead is take HPE Esmeral Data Fabric into use. Data Fabric creates an access layer in between data and compute. They didn't need to change anything at the infrastructure level while still accessing the data from the servers using one single HPE Esmeral Data Fabric API. Now all different types of data, databases, streaming data, files and objects could be accessed from anywhere, from edge to cloud using just one single global namespace. Among other advantages, they got much better visibility to what data they have and where. Also managing copies of data became substantially more efficient. This one single move to HPE Esmeral Data Fabric made it magnitude easier for them to become GDPR compliant. Next, cloud nativity. Becoming cloud native or compatible with cloud in practice means adopting container architecture. In the past, Company X was using bare metal Hadoop instances, so this obviously needed to change. They decided to take not only containers and Kubernetes into use, but HPE Esmeral Runtime, which is for the lack of a better expression, Kubernetes on steroids. Runtime uses Kubernetes for container orchestration like any other Kubernetes environment, but in addition it has 
multiple advantages up its sleeves. Like for example, advanced monitoring, reporting and integration to other HPE Esmeral components. In the process, Company X also replaced Hadoop with Spark and other more modern AI applications. Having all workloads running as lightweight containers anywhere, from edge to cloud, and accessing data from anywhere using API to Esmeral Data Fabric made Company X truly cloud native. Finally, quicker onboarding. Having all apps running as containers and making all data easily available through HPE Esmeral Data Fabric alone made onboarding new data scientists effortless. All containerized apps could be quickly copied and moved wherever needed, and data lakes were not needed to be copied, but they could provide new data scientists a read-only access to existing data. But they didn't stop there. In addition, they leveraged HPE Esmeral ML Ops, an AI framework to manage and orchestrate AI workloads. On top of that, they started to use libraries of readily trained AI models so that they didn't have to start model development and training from scratch. A good example of such library is NVIDIA NGZ, from where you can find tons of ready-to-use AI models for various use cases. Best of all, they are free of charge. They also got a few bonus surprises on top of everything. For example, their total cost of ownership actually went down. This was not the main goal of this particular project, but a very welcome side effect. This was mostly due to various optimizations in resource and infrastructure, as well as support and maintenance. Another important advantage for an international bank was improved and automated fraud detection. Fraudulent actions against big banks is a constant nuisance that they need to battle on a daily basis. Before HPE Esmeral, they were heavily relying on manual processes, but with the help of analytics tools supported by HPE Esmeral MLOps, fraud detection is now for the most part automated and hence multiple times more efficient. What was most fascinating to me about this particular customer case is how they managed to tackle so many of their real and big business problems by taking HPE Esmeral into use. And now they are in better shape than ever and ready for the future. Thank you for watching and see you with the next one.